All right, so we learned about face mode and we were able to manipulate faces yesterday, right? We could move them around and whatnot. Um, but um, that only allows us a certain amount of um, editing capability, right? So if we really wanna get into editing these things, um, we're gonna need to be able to edit more than just faces. And personally, I like editing edges. You'll probably, you probably noticed that in Fusion, I probably showed you in the sculpt mode how I like to use edges. So in here, um, there's a mode for edges. There's also a mode for vertexes. And of course, our good old face mode. Okay, so let's try um, right clicking, holding down, and, and going up to edge mode here. And you'll be able to select on individual edges. Of course, these, you know, you still have the, um, same idea that your hand is still on the the home row and you have Q, W, E, and R. So with edges, you could choose to scale, move, and whatnot, right? Uh, as well as, as rotate. So sometimes it's kind of annoying to have to edit edges one by one. So Maya makes it pretty nice as far as um, selecting rings or loops of edges go, just like we used to do in Fusion. Um, in Maya, all you need to do is choose an edge and double click it. And it will, if that edge is inside of a loop, which means it goes all the way around of an object, such as on this sphere here, it will uh, select the entire loop, right? So then I'm able to move the entire loop, right? All at once. So I can start um, editing a lot quicker using this. So it's, it's a lot slower if you tried to hold shift, which lets you select multiple things and went, well, shift, shift, um, shift, you know, whatever. It would take a long time compared to just double clicking on that edge loop and, and being able to edit that way. Uh, fridge, I'm doing a recording. Um, so the other um, really powerful mode that we're gonna learn, if you right click, um, you'll see vertex. Now we had trouble when we modeled our pair in uh, Fusion, the pear shape, because we couldn't move the actual top of the pear, right, where the stem came out. Um, if you click on the uh, vertex mode, you'll notice you're able to select points on the object. These are points where uh, polygons come together, okay, where they, where they are joined up. You can move these individually, okay? I don't think double clicking, yeah, it has no effect. Um, on selecting like loops or anything, but you can select select that end point there. And if you move that, you're gonna be able to move up the top part, right? So this really, when you think about it, vertex mode is probably the most powerful um, editing mode because it gives you the most amount of detail, right? You could You can adjust all the edges and all the surfaces with vertex mode. It's the most fine grained control. Also for me, um, not so fun to use to edit, right? Takes a long time to edit with vertexes. So personally guys, you'll see me do this a lot. I use edge mode because it's my fave and um, face mode probably second to that vertex mode when you really have to do some nitty gritty stuff. So go ahead and, and try out using these different modes. Remember that um, these, all these modes, they work the same way, okay? Um, edge mode, vertex, and face. Now, if you want to go ahead and have access to all these modes at once, a great way to do that is to go down to multi, okay? Uh, this will let you select multiple different entities on the shape. So you could either hover over a vertex and select a vertex, or you could hover over a line and select a line, or you could select 
a face by hovering over it, right? And I think you can even, yes, you can even select all kinds of different shapes, or um, sorry, different control points here, and you can pull those around, right? And use those for editing all in the same uh, stroke. So that's by right clicking, we're, we're changing our mode. Vertex, edge, face, multi is an option. And if you need to return to safety, just go back to object mode. That lets you work with things on an object level, okay? So you're gonna click on um, a whole object. If you hit delete, it will go away. Um, if you need to use, for instance, the Boolean, um, Boolean uh, union that we talked about, you could use that. It's found under mesh Booleans union difference or intersection. Um, I probably have a video on that too, but uh, those, you wanna do those at the object level. So you want to be in object mode for that kind of stuff, okay? So for big object transformations, stay in object mode. For editing and modeling, you're gonna need to go into edge, vertex, face, or just select multi to do it all.